Hi, I'm Tony with Bonadale Boatworks. Today we're gonna do a little walkthrough on the features of our new 45 Walk Around Express. Starting up here in the bow, we've got a through the stem anchor chute. We've got a 70 quart built-in cooler. We've got seating for six, four and a half facing. We've got a lay down sun pad looking at the tower. We've got a rigid spotlight. We've got clear night vision, Marlin tower up top. There's a full glass enclosure. So it's actually solid laminated glass. Oh, we did Marlin tower on this boat, so it doesn't have the big gap, but it doesn't quite get as narrow either, being mounted directly to the hard top. So you get a little more space up there. There's a full redundant set of controls. It's got a small Garmin screen. It's got the bow thruster, the joystick. It's got all the redundant switching through the C-Zone network. And pretty awesome new Gemlux carbon fiber internal rigged outriggers including the center rigger. We painted all the antennas, painted the radar, painted everything black to match. Uh, so it's really sleek, a lot of space up there, super functional. Coming down, we did our best to give everything some shape, rotate it out of the way. Part of the problem with the walk arounds is walking around, having clearance. Uh, so lots of room, lots of clearance. Everything came out really nice. Down inside of the seat, we've got some storage on the starboard side, and then we've got the mechanical access on the center line. Also center line of the boat is grilling station. Got a Kenyan grill built in. Little cutting board. These can be set up as tackle storage or we can do rocket launchers. We did cup holder rod holders on the side. So kind of mix best of both worlds. Down below, lots of tackle storage or drink storage. One neat feature on the side of this is it actually has a hot water shower. So when you're snorkeling, you get a nice fresh water rinse down, but it's not freezing cold. All right, we pulled some cushions off the back of the mezzanine seating, hidden behind, large locker. Uh, these we set up per the customer's request, so they can be set up with planos, drawers like this one, leader racks, or they could be all planos. We can pretty much do anything. Off to the side here, we've got another big storage compartment. This one we've got full of lines for traveling to the boat show tomorrow. Um, the next boat we're setting that up is a fridge freezer. Then down below, this is all mechanical space. So we've got genset, we've got diesel fuel tank, we've got house battery bank, uh, water system over on the starboard side. There's a Glendenning re reel retractor on the port. Uh, it's pretty impressive down there. Nice clean area, stays dry, easy to access and service everything. Below our feet here, 100 gallon fish boxes, one on each side. Forward and swinging side door that has an Armstrong ladder that snaps onto the frame. Behind it, we've got a hose locker, fresh and raw water. Forward of it, we've got a small locker for storage. It kind of mirrors the port side's rod locker. So on the transom, we've got a 72 gallon live well. We insulate this as well, so if you're fishing one uses a kill box, it drains directly overboard, nice and simple. Down in the hole, uh, got the engine batteries under the boxes, some mechanical on both sides. Moving forward, there's Sea Keeper 6 in this boat. There's an 11 kW Kohler gen set. Uh, we've set everything up to where it can be slid out and lifted so there's no cutting the decks out. Jumping back over to the starboard side, we've got a triple seat here. Down below is storage. In the back is access to all the mechanical. One nice part about this bridge being enclosed with the glass is it allows us to air condition the whole thing. So it's got a huge air conditioning system. We've got a big vent here and then a couple vents between the garments and then our companion entryway. So jumping up here onto the bridge, we're gonna take a look at the helm. One awesome feature is our triple seating. It's got three flip up backrests. Each one of these flip up gives you some support when you're running. Up on the dash, we've got two 22 inch garments flat mounted in the blackout screens. Uh, it's got the night vision like we saw up in the bow. We've got the vessel view for the Mercury's. Did a carbon fiber pod, carbon fiber wheel. It's got the joystick system on the engines. Also has a bow thruster. This is a new brushless proportional bow thruster, so it's silent. Uh, it's proportional, which means you can give it just what you need, so it's not all on or all off. It's a really nice unit. Windless control, fusion radio, Garmin remote. That way you don't have to get fingerprints all over your screens. Down in here, we've got Glove box, has all of our switching, seat keeper control. So on the port side of the bridge, we've got a rod locker, lift out door. And then moving forward, we've got two individually controlled fridge freezers. 
These units are really nice. Each one can be changed from fridge to freezer. Awesome, if you're traveling to the Bahamas, you can bring all your frozen goods in there. And then when you get there and you're just cruising, you switch them back over to fridges for drinks and food. Down from the bridge, we come into the interior. As you can see, lots of headroom, especially for a walk around. Uh, over on the port side, you got upper cabinetry, microwave, there's an air conditioning system in the wall, single burner stove, fridge freezer again. Down below here, we've got drawers and trash can. Kept an open layout on this boat since it'll primarily be used for entertaining and cruising. This does, however, drop down. Inside the forward wall, there's a hidden cushion. Fills this and turns it into a V-berth. On the starboard side, there's a cedar hanging locker. There's a TV for the dinette area. Down inside of both seats, there's a bunch of storage. And then hidden behind the cushions on the backrest, our rod locker, both port and starboard. So moving aft, we've got our lounge room. We've got a big screen TV mount in the wall, U-shaped couch. We've got our AC-DC main panels, sound bar. Uh, one thing cool is hidden inside that wall. There's a filler cushion for this. It drops down, turns this into a queen V berth, or a queen uh, berth. Back over on the starboard side, we've got our head. Uh, it's got hot and cold water, shower. It also has a backup DC water system, so if you're running and your gen set goes down, you can still take a shower, still wash hands, rinse decks, all those kind of things. Head over on the forward side, plenty of room, lots of space, nice, full, white, clean, just wipe it down. This bad boy, we've got four 400 horsepower factory packed Mercury's. They're not the race engine, so they're lower RPM, full warranties on them. Uh, this boat so far with the power, we've seen it just a hair under 60 for top end. Cruise in the mid 30s to the upper 40s. Uh, seeing great performance, sweet hole shot, good bow rise. Uh, can't be happier with the way it's running. Tomorrow we'll get to really put it to the test when we're taking it down to the Miami Boat Show. I don't think we're going to get any, uh, any better weather than what we've had all week.